Judgment Day for my transmission has arrived. I'm Tom. Yes, this. This is the video where you are going to get to see what happens with that transmission controller I built. No more waiting. It is finally happening. Well, okay, you're gonna have to wait for the actual road test that's coming in next week's video. However, in this video, I actually do test it out on the jack stands and I think you're gonna love to see what happens. So stick around, pull up a chair, get comfortable. Now, before I did any testing, I needed to actually finish the shifter. It was the last thing that I had to do for actually like putting the controller in the van. And I'm surprised it took me that long to actually make it, but I finally did. The shifter design is really quite simple, but it's so tactile and clicky. It, it's freaking awesome. I love it so much. However, this is a bit of a problem. He's like, I just love clicking it so much. Like I just use it as a fidget toy at this point. It's so satisfying. No joke, I probably sat around for like a good half hour just kind of clicking it. Now hopefully I don't start fidgeting with it on the road. As much as I wanted to start the van up and go right into gear, I knew that would be a recipe for disaster. In order to try and spot as many issues as possible before they could cause any damage to the transmission, I decided to do a dry run of sorts. To do this dry run, I connected the controller and turned the key to the on position, Ooh, and I went through all the gears without the engine running. This way I could ensure that the solenoids were functioning as I expected, and make sure that my code was also working like it should. Oh boy, I am glad that I did this. For some reason, my code was hanging whenever I would downshift into second gear. I'm not sure why, but when I added serial debugging to it, it for some reason fixed itself. So I don't know what's going on there. So with that fixed, I went ahead and continued my testing. Just listen to how chonky those solenoids are. Anyways, at that point in the evening, it was too late to start the van up. I don't want to wake up the whole neighborhood just to try and test my silly minivan. Once the next day came, I went ahead and started it up. This was it. Do or die. Okay, maybe not, but it is kind of an important part. And the result might shock you. So yeah, somehow it works. I'm I'm just as shocked as you guys are. Drop a comment telling me what you thought was gonna happen. I was almost expecting something to go terribly wrong with this. In previous videos, I was kind of joking about blowing up the transmission. However, when it finally came down to like, you know, the actual testing, I was really kind of concerned because I mean, I did not want to spend another $3,000 on a new transmission. Yeah, about two years ago, I had it blow up on me because the torque converter lockup was slipping and it wound up cooking all the fluid out of the transmission and because it lost all the fluid everything got worse and so yeah i don't want to have to have that happen again the shifts are extremely harsh but in the end i'm glad that it even works right now this could have ended extremely badly so the fact that nothing got ejected and no weird sounds started i'm extremely pleased and thankful now since the initial test is complete Let's talk about what needs to happen next. First, if you've enjoyed this video and you want to help me out in the algorithm and help this video spread to more people, go ahead and give me a like. I really appreciate it. Second, I need to figure out why the shifts are so harsh right now. I'm thinking that 
it might be something related to the clutch pressure control solenoids because they control how much pressure goes to each clutch. As much as I enjoy a very firm, fast shift, this transmission really is not built for that, and I don't want to shock the drivetrain or anything. I'm already <laughs> spending enough money on this build as it is. So because of that, I need to make sure it shifts as smoothly as possible. Well, okay, maybe not as smoothly as possible. I can have some aggressiveness going on, but I really can't have it be jolting like that. The last thing I want is to destroy this transmission because as you saw, it is a perfectly good working unit. And all I have to do is just tweak some code on the controller. Make sure you subscribe because in next week's video, we're gonna go ahead and do a road test with this. And I'm gonna show you how to install a wideband sensor. And I'm even going to talk about why you need one. And as always, stay classy.